What's up guys, Joe here with the SupplementReviews.org. This is my review for Green Vibrance, which is a greens powder product that has been getting a ton of attention lately. It's gotten super popular, and I'm really not sure why, because it's not really that good. And that's not to say that it's bad. I would actually say this is probably one of the, the better, above average greens powders on the market, but still not good enough for me to recommend it. I would not recommend this in my top three. I uh, wouldn't recommend it in my top five either. It's not a bad product, but um, we're going to go go ahead and get into why that is. You know, why I wouldn't ultimately recommend it, but what makes it a decent product. I'm going to explain all of that in this video. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, first off, though, if you guys like this video, if you get anything out of this video or it helps you at all, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. So. I'm going to start off by showing you guys the supplement facts here. They're super tiny, so hopefully you guys can see that. And what I do like about the supplement facts is first off that the overall potency in terms of greens per serving that you're getting comes out to about 9,000. But the other thing I like is that you can see their, the individual dosages of each ingredient. So that means that you're not getting a proprietary blend. The problem with proprietary blends is that they don't disclose individual dosages, so you really don't know what you're taking. And if you don't know what you're putting into your body, I mean, to me, that's a big problem. So I like, that's one thing I do like, that's a pro of Green Vibrance, is that they don't use a proprietary blend. I like to see those individual dosages there. I like to know exactly what I'm putting in my body. So, uh, thumbs up right there. But the overall potency is kind of where I have an issue. So. 9,000 isn't bad. Um, I've seen a lot worse, like from products like Balance of Nature or Texas Superfood, which are a couple of other really popular ones. Those both have 4,000, uh, so that's super low. I, I really can't stand either of those products. 9,000 isn't super low, but it's not anywhere near high enough to where I would consider it like one of the most potent or one of the top greens powders on the market. And I'm going to actually show you guys what a serving, of, uh, a serving size of this looks like, just to put into perspective exactly uh, what it looks like, exactly how, how much greens you're getting every time you take a serving of this product. So uh, just to put it into perspective from an a overall potency standpoint, this has 9,000, like I said, per serving. My top ranked number one grain drink, which is the total living drink, that's one that I take every day, uh, has 15,000. So you're getting 6,000 milligrams more superfoods in every serving. And a lot of people like to talk about, well, it's quality, not quantity. Or some people will agree with me and be like, yeah, dude, it's all about the quantity, not quality. Guys, it's both. Because you need the high, high quality ingredients. There's no question about it. You definitely need the ingredients to be high quality. But it does not matter if you have high quality ingredients if the dosages are not large enough you're not going to get the benefits of what would be considered a high quality ingredient if you're not taking enough of that ingredient. So it's quality and quantity, guys. That's the issue here. So we have high quality ingredients. We have a transparent formula uh, with, with the fact that there's no proprietary blend, but the dosages are not high enough, which ultimately is what, what would cause me to not recommend this supplement. Because again, you need quality and quantity that's just factual. Um, that's what the clinical studies say. There's just no question about it. So, uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and look at what a serving size of this looks like. So it comes in these little packets. I'm gonna go ahead and pour one of these out on a paper plate, and then I will show you guys uh, exactly what it looks like. Okay. So one serving of green vibrance here, and then what I did is I, I poured out a serving of the total living drink as well just for comparison's sake, so you guys can kind of get a feel of what they look like next to each other and exactly how much more potent like one of the higher end uh, supplements is. So here's what a serving of Green Vibrance looks like. So it's a decent chunk of greens, not bad. Looks accurate at about 9,000. If anything, maybe, maybe a little short, but it looks accurate, but I'm going to zoom in on that so you guys, A, can get a better look, and also I'm going to zoom on it next to a serving of the total living drink, so you guys can get a comparison view of the two, 
and see kind of like just how big the difference really is. Um, okay, so I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys what these look like. Alright, so here is one serving of green vibrance. That's what that looks like. Sorry, that's backwards. That's what that looks like. And then here's a serving of the total living drink. Zoom in on that. So I mean that pretty much takes up the whole plate. And again, that's 15,000 milligrams. Here we're looking at 9,000. And that's them right next to each other. I mean the difference is pretty mind-blowing to me. It, I mean that's very significant. And these cost the exact same amount for 30 servings in case you were wondering. So same price point, but one of them you get this per serving, and the other one you get this per serving. So I mean, to me, that's super significant. It's super illuminating to see the greens like actually poured out like that, which is why I'm starting to do that in my reviews and uh, kind of give you guys a, a visual of what you're gonna get if you do decide to buy a certain product that I'm reviewing. So hopefully that's helpful. And hopefully being able to see the serving size next to a serving size of what I would consider to be an actually elite green drink um, puts into perspective, you know, exactly what you're getting when you buy this product and how many, how much greens you're actually taking. So uh, that's going to be the end of my green vibrance review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you got something out of it. And if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have any questions about Green Vibrance, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys.